Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Sagittarius is going to be, what are their true intentions and love? So reading between you and your person, Sagittarius. And your oracle cards are here, right? And please know that since this is a general, that these energies could be vice versa in the reading, right? They could be. Nothing I can do about that, Sagittarius, right? So, you know, uh, yeah, feel free to kind of switch the energies as you so, you know, so need to. And uh, I've already pulled the oracle cards, as I have mentioned here. And uh, somebody here is taking a chance with a gambler. It's on somebody they really love here, the beloved or the beloved. However you guys want to say it, you guys can, you know, kind of rip me in the comments about it if you want. I'll be totally fine with it. And the Passover card is here. And this can talk about somebody who is, like, waiting. But it can talk about somebody who is sacrificing somebody. Because that's what the Passover is. It's next to the Storm Warning card. The, you know, that's what, uh, you know, while the, uh, I feel like the Jews or the Israelites were being held as slaves in Egypt... You know, God told them, I will save you or I will release you from, you know, being a slave, right? I'll let you out of exile here or I will, you know, take you out of Egypt, you know, to be free. But he said, you have to wait and you have to also do something. You have to put the, the blood of the lamb on your doors to know. I feel like it was kind of to know that they loved God, right? Because, you know, he's he goes, I'll come and save you, but you have to, you know, you have to, like, show me that I am your God of all gods. And they said, and that's why he went to rescue them, because they said that. They said, you are our God of all gods. We trust you. So I feel like the, the blood from the lamb was to show, like, who the Israelites were. Uh, I feel like it was. But I'm not sure about that exact part. But it was really about to save them and take them out of, uh, you know, their bondage. They were prisoners, right? But I, my point about it is that somebody was being sacrificed, the lamb, right? I feel like somebody's being sacrificed here. I mean, and I don't like to use that word, but when the Passover card shows up here, I mean, it's really about that. Somebody's taking a, a risk here because they really love you. Or maybe you're taking a big risk because you love them. I just feel like somebody's being sacrificed with the storm warning. The dry desert card is here too, and the dry desert is, you know, about something that is, there's no more love, or there's no more, you know, it's just too dry. Your person could be, like, taking a chance on you to be with you, and their situation might be, like, a dry desert. There is movement here with the movement card, and the sun card is here, Sagittarius, and the sun card is about somebody who has, <clears throat> it is the number one in this deck, like a new beginning. But they have new beginning with all these possibilities. I feel like it's love and money and growth and music and joy and delight. Because the, uh, the tuba is here and she's holding a disc. Almost like she's going to throw the disc. Like, you know, I'm going to throw this wheel into the air for just to see what comes back to me, kind of, right? The book is here and this is, you know, maybe learning wisdom as well, right? It could be about somebody from the past. Whenever I see the book, it, right, things could be written in the book from the past, right? And uh, this is about everything that is so many uh, options and possibilities you have here, Sagittarius, with this person. And the cage is here. It's like the cage is underneath the bull, or she's, you know, she's standing in this fountain, kind of. But the cage is underneath, like, and the birds are out of the cage. Like, there is so much uh, room for kind of freedom and the bondage is being like whatever I mean, you could have been in bondage about this person or felt stuck about them whenever we see a cage all right Sagittarius unless you have a bird yeah my aunt used to have a bird in when she lived in well, when she came to California uh, she was from you know Brooklyn she was a deaf lady right she was and she had a bird and when she came out because my mom said you got to come out you're getting old you got to take care of you now when she, came, when she showed up, though, she had a little bird named Orlando, and that was my, my son, son's name. And my son was about, he was about three or four at the time. <laughs> like, really, it's interesting here. I've, in families, you know, we like the same names. It's really interesting, yeah. So the judgment card is with the Ace of Wands, Reverse Sagittarius, and you have the Temperance card. So let's stay focused on your reading. You don't have to hear about my nostalgia, my folklore. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> And we have the Hierophant, OMG, the Ace of Wands is in the reverse, reverse. So you didn't have a new beginning with somebody or something was like not at your fingertips. You couldn't have this with this person. I feel like because they were married. Possibly with the, with the Hierophant. 
I feel like you wanted a rebirth with them, but you can have it with the Ace of Wands reversed and the Death card. OMG. So something could have ended here so you could have a rebirth with somebody. That's why judgment is there for a rebirth. I feel like this person is coming to take a chance on you with the gambler, right? Unless you're going to date, you know, Kenny Rogers. You got to know when to fold them. Let's see what we got. The Four of Acorn, Sagittarius, is a card of comfort and community here. Maybe they're married. Community talks about a marriage. It does. Uh, maybe you bring them lots of comfort and joy, but there's movement here. They're coming. They could be coming as an ostrich, uh, Sagittarius. Maybe they have really long legs, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe they need to grow some legs, some courage and some legs here. At the top is the watchtower. Wow. And in the sky is the moon, uh, is the hot air balloon, but it's red, almost like, you know, love, right? Red is a, is a good luck color. For sure. It is the color of love, right? Because it is the color of the heart. Your person's coming. They might be coming as an ostrich, Sagittarius, or in a hot air balloon, all right? So uh, watch for them. Hopefully they don't look like this ostrich, right? Some people look like animals. Let's uh, continue here, right? <laughs> and your current energy is the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, <coughs> and Justice. Justice in the Hierophant is in this reading. I feel like there's a marriage and judgment. I feel like there's a marriage and, and there could be a divorce coming up. Your challenge is the King of Cups. You want a Virgo. Maybe you want a Virgo and they're married to or they're with a Pisces. Maybe you want a Pisces and they're with a Virgo. Maybe they're with the Magician. <coughs> I feel like this is definitely about third party energy. Maybe it's not. But it looks like somebody is coming from some type of a storm to be with you. Maybe it's a storm that you guys had in the past, possibly. But it says storm warning, like it's coming. I feel like this, this, this card, these, this reading could be saying to you, Sagittarius, that, uh, that this person you want here that you're not with, and if you're with, you're with them kind of halfway or something like that. Maybe they're, maybe they're at a distance here. We see, uh, we see the ostrich who is, you know, I don't know, the sky is here and, you know, also that watchtower with an island on it. They could be far away with the hot, with the, uh, <coughs> sorry, with the hot air balloon. <coughs> Going to the doctor next week, you guys, to <coughs> find out what is really wrong here. <coughs> Yeah, and then my beautiful voice voice will be restored. Hopefully, hopefully you guys, <clears throat> I'm saying that it's beautiful because I really kind of, uh, not because I'm conceited, because I <clears throat> realize that this voice is not mine, and uh, I'm really showing a gratitude <clears throat> for the voice that God gave me. Yeah, and please take this one away or, you know, <laughs> and restore the other one. Let's look at your reading, though. Let's see why, what energy you're in right now. Seven of Swords. <clears throat> you look like you're like maybe this is somebody else here escaping to be with you you look like you are devoting yourself to somebody things are working out and you're bringing balance with somebody somebody's coming like really soon here and this could be this energy here where you are like like manifesting this or like Like devoting yourself to somebody or making an effort with somebody right now. Let's get another card. This is incomplete. Maybe somebody in the recent past has ended a situation here. Because I don't feel like, unless you ended it with them, but I don't feel like this is about an ending. This reading is too beautiful. It is about somebody's ending, but I don't feel like it's your ending. No. No. Somebody is bringing you, like, you know, you are the sunshine of my life over here. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> you guys know that song by Stevie Wonder? <clears throat> it's about somebody who, you know, who says, Stevie Wonder says in the song, I'll always love you. He says it in another way, but 
<clears throat> he's talking about, he's singing about eternal love. Yeah. Stevie Wonder tried to speak up about what's going on, how they are trying to, you know, change our country. And they, 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 I think they threatened him. That was about five years ago. <clears throat> he was going to have a concert, <clears throat> like uh, a benefit, a free concert. <clears throat> it was really to tell people, enlighten people about what's going on, and he didn't do it. They threatened him, pretty sure, here. So let's see what we got. Let's get back to this reading here, because for all the people who don't care about this stuff, right? Nine of Wands, you guys. Here, Sagittarius, let's get back to your romantic life, because it looks so good. Yeah, this is complete now. So you're in this energy here, here about, you're worried about what's going to happen. About if they're going to escape from a marriage. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, like, maybe if they've ended something here. But they are. They're ending something. We have movement, dry desert. They're moving away from a dry situation. They're taking a chance on you, Sagittarius, the gambler. Unless your person goes to the casino, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they're a good one, the kind that, you know, no one to, like, get up from the table, right? <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like you're in this energy, Sagittarius, about, uh, I wonder if they're coming. That's what I feel like. I wonder if they've ended a situation and I'm having a new beginning. I feel like you've been waiting for this person with this Ace of Wands reversed. You've been waiting, like, on hold, right? Like, pending. Nobody wants to be on hold, right? No, not on the phone, right? Nowadays, you're on the phone with, you know, a, a robot, right? Like, a, an automated system. Back in the day, you were at least on hold with a real person. Everything is so fake now, right? Yeah. They want you to marry your computer. Never go outside. Yeah, that's what they want, you guys. So let's get back to this reading here. <laughs> the King of Cups. It's not really funny, but it's so, like, bizarre that it's... I have to laugh here because it's true here. The King of Pentacles and the King of Cups is your challenge, Sagittarius. Yeah. <clears throat> This is, you know, this means that you could be, like, it says here you want a Virgo in your, in your, you know, in your, maybe you want a Virgo, maybe you want a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio here. But you're dealing with either a water sign or, or they are, or you're dealing with an earth sign and they are, etc. right? <clears throat> or you, yeah, okay, you guys know what I mean. Jelly bean, let's see what else we got. And we have the Knight of Pentacles, so... I feel like there's some type of Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here uh, in your challenge. This could be your person. Your person might be this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It's going to be different, you guys. Yeah. I can't help that, okay, you guys? I can do a lot, right? Mm-hmm. can still jump off a cliff at the lake. Yeah, I can. Even though, I'm, you know, I'm starting to get scared, afraid of it. <laughs> I feel like that's age, right? And the Four of Cups, you guys, is in the challenge for you. I feel like you want them to reject somebody here. I really do. And I feel like they are. I feel like they're in the dry desert. Maybe you're in a dry desert because you want them to move. You want them to make some movement here. You want them to be this ostrich or this hot air balloon. I feel like you want them to fly in this hot air balloon and come and get you, Cap uh, Sagittarius, and swoop you up and love you forever and forget about their life. Yeah, forget about your, your old life, all right? If you've got to pay a child support or whatever you got to do, go do it. But just come. Just show up with all your love. <clears throat> yeah, and your hot body. Mm -hmm. Take this chance. You want them to take the chance, right? Yeah, you want you want them to have the guts here to, yeah, take the chance and, you know, take a chance on you. And the Passover card is here. You know, this also has to do with Easter, of course, right? But I feel like it has to do with, you know, you want this to rise up. Like, that's what you do. You feel like this situation is kind of like sitting down or pending or a little just too slow or stagnant, something like that. You want this to rise up. Yeah, you do. And the storm warning, this is, uh, there's a warning for somebody. I don't feel like it's for you. I feel like it's for this person. So the hermit card is what you are uh, wanting so far. Maybe you want to, maybe you want another earth sign here, but uh, you want sabotage here. There's no way, or maybe you want to release yourself from some despair or defeat. I feel like you want sabotage. Yeah, you want somebody to <clears throat> kind of sacrifice somebody here, the Passover card. You want them to leave their dry, de dry desert. I feel like you want them to. I feel like it's coming. Let's see what else we have here. 
for what you want, Sagittarius, the Sun card. Maybe you want Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, but you want success, happiness. You want to know, you want to be illuminated that they're doing this. You want them to come, but you want some kind of, kind of a sign here. Well, are they coming or not? Or are they going to do this? Are they going to be with me forever or not? Are they going to make up their mind? Because you are loved, Sagittarius, you are. All right? Yeah, you are the beloved. All right? Mm-hmm. And this is not about your, you know, your uh, your funeral, Sagittarius. You know how they say that? The beloved you-know-who, like in the obituary? No, we're not writing an, an obituary for you, Sagittarius. All right? We're not. Just take your vitamin C and your selenium so you don't get this, you know, this thing that they have uh, drummed up. Yeah, they drummed it up. They did, you guys. <clears throat> yeah, go look up Rosa Core, Agenda 21. You'll see. They drummed all this up. So let's get back to this reading, and here comes somebody who is, uh, these people here, which is getting on my nerves here, they're not supposed to come on Friday, I mean, yeah, it is Friday, hold on you guys, yeah, they're supposed to be here on Monday, and I really wish my landlord would have told me that, that would have been really nice, you think, yeah, so let's see. We're going to have to continue the reading, though, you guys, and, uh, mm -hmm. so let's see what we got here. Sorry, you guys, about this BS here, right? Because the reading's too good here to, like, turn the camera off. I feel like it is. So you want happiness with them, but I feel like you want, you want the truth. You want to be illuminated here. Are they going to end their situation? I feel like you want to know. See what else you want to know. Why is the sun card there for Sagittarius? This is a long reading. The Queen of Wands. That's you, Sagittarius. You want happiness, joy with them. You want them to sabotage their own situation. You want them to move away from this other situation. Get in the hot air balloon. And the Fool card. You want them to have the courage here. I feel like this has to do with courage. Yeah, because they're taking a risk, the gambler. All right? And let's look at your fear, the magician. And the hangman. So you could be worried about Pisces, Sagittarius, because the king of cups is in your challenge, all right? You're worried about, <clears throat> I feel like you're afraid you're not going to manifest this with this person, with the magician there. And let's look at the eight of wands in the recent past for you, uh, for your person. Yeah, I always do that when I get to the, the nine of cups, the three of swords. This is their recent past energy. Sagittarius, you are their wish here, for sure, when you are showing up as the beloved. I feel like they're like leaving, maybe they're Pisces. We have the, uh, the hangman again. They're either Pisces or they might be leaving a Piscean here. So we have the Three of Swords, too. And they made some changes already. This movement card is what they have done. And you are over here like, are they gonna? They already made some changes. I feel like they took action with this Knight of Swords in the recent past for change. The Three of Swords, yeah, this is, there's heartbreak here for them. I feel like it is. This dry desert. Somebody is heartbroken here. There's no love or joy left or, and it could be the person they're leaving. It could be. And their current energy is the Seven of Swords. It is with the Six of Swords. This is their current energy here. They're leaving. They, they, and they, they've already, like, they've either escaped or they're planning to leave right now. I feel like they're leaving. Because they took action in the past for change, in the recent past. They're leaving their person right now. They took some action, and I feel like they're leaving. Yeah, they're a person. Six of Swords. This is kind of sad for somebody else, right? But, you know, you can't fight. You can't, like, you know, true love is, is always the winner, right? Just like we hope truth is going to, like, you know, really take over in honesty in our world. Because, you know, everything is a lie. Everything. So, yeah, if you guys hear something that sounds really good, no, it's a lie. It's bullshit. <laughs> so let's get back here, unless you're following uh, these people who are trying to, like, really kind of save save us. Yeah. Let's get back to this reading here. And all of us, you guys, regardless of what side you, you think you're on, we're all on the side of humanity and Americans here. Yeah, we are. Okay. And the knight, the, the death card here, it looks like a knight. It, it's a skeleton on a horse. Your person here is leaving somebody and ending it with them. Yeah, and they're, and they're, I feel like they're bringing heartbreak to somebody. The Ten of Swords is their challenge, see? They have to end another situation, and they're feeling the Ten of Swords. Maybe they're heartbroken leaving somebody too. 
maybe they are, but they're heartbroken to, you know, have the sun with you, Sagittarius. This is a, a relationship where everything is here, like everything. Romance, love, happiness, joy, probably good sex, good, good conversations with the book, because it talks about wit and intelligence. The cage is here, uh, but the birds are out. For me, this is freedom. It could be music, too, when we see birds, right? Could be here. And the child is inside the little pod here, right? The little kind of, uh, it's kind of a, the little sack that women carry. But the child is here, and this can also always talk about new beginnings, right? It can. Uh, and it can talk about sometimes, there could be a childlike union or a childlike, sorry guys about the noise, a childlike feeling between you guys, right? Like there could be some some like kind of real innocence between you guys, which is for me really beautiful. So sorry you guys, but these guys get on my nerves. No wonder they weren't here on Monday, right? And this guy doesn't even tell me. So let's look at the challenge one more time. Your person's challenge is the Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Look at that. Sagittarius, you, I mean, your side, your, yours is, they. I feel like they have to reject somebody. But theirs is, you know, kind of really bad. It's really bad. So they have to end something. Ten of Swords is a really harsh ending. They feel like there's no other way out here for them but to end another situation. Your person here feels bound and they have fear about what's going to happen here. This is feeling really stuck, bound, and really conflicted, oppressed, held down. This is in their challenge. They have to end something with somebody, and they're creating heartbreak. They already have the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords here. And judgment. Yep, this is the rebirth with you, but they have to leave another situation. And I've been saying they're going to leave soon. The Three of Pentacles is going to be what they want. This is a rebirth with you. And you have judgment too. Right? This is why I have two decks here. You have judgment, Sagittarius. In the past, you wanted a rebirth with them. I feel like this could be shown up too that, you know, you didn't have this new beginning with them. It was pending. But they're, and they have the death, you have the death card and they have the death card. And this is them ending it with somebody else in their current energy. And in the past, I feel like you were wondering if they were. And they were. They were already taking steps. They have the will and determination with the uh, Knight of Swords and also the, yeah, with the Knight of Swords. Yep. Mm -hmm. And what they want here is the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Six, and the Six of Cups. You are somebody from their past, Sagittarius. I feel like they want to recover memories with you. I feel like there's like this nostalgia, like, remember we used to have a lot of fun, remember that? Remember when we first met? Mm-hmm. Right? Things like that. Mm-hmm. There's some type of fun here in this reading. And I don't usually, when I pull some of these cards, some of them come up as fun. Right? We're going to pull some of uh, their true intentions. Uh, my deck here in the extended, right? We're going to pull the uh, some of these cards. And what they want here is to work things out with you. Yeah, they want things to work, the Three of Pentacles. They want to work together. They want to cooperate. This person, maybe they want, didn't want to cooperate with you in the past, right? Yeah. And they're kind of worried here about what's going to happen. The Nine of Wands, they've already been through. A ma they're in a major battle right now. It's leaving somebody, and I feel like they're leaving behind heartbreak. I feel like it is hurting them as well. And the Nine of Swords is what they're fearing. So they're fearing fear itself. They're afraid here that it's not going to work with you or that you're not going to be open to them. Something like that. Or they could be, okay, they could be fearing if they're leaving a family dynamic here, maybe they are just worried here about how this other person is going to take it. Because I'm getting that in this reading too. And what else they have? Uh, what else do they have is the Ace of Wands. They're afraid they're not going to have their happily ever after with you. Maybe because, uh, you know... They could just be afraid they're not going to have that because they're leaving somebody else, right? So let's see what else we have. I'm pretty sure they are. And the uh, tower card's reversed. Yeah, they're afraid they're not going to be able to rebuild with you for some reason. I'm not really sure what happened, right? Okay, we're going to go to the extended. They're all super affordable. And we're going to go to the extended once those, you know, those guys have gone, of course. We're going to look at the underlying energies, how they feel, Sagittarius, how they're seeing themselves. I'm sure it's not really entirely good. And uh, how they're seeing the situation, what they hide from you, and their true intentions. 
uh, or their outcome. Thank you so much, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And the extensions are all super affordable.